Hey guys, what's up? Okay, today I'm gonna try something a bit different, something I haven't done before. Um, I'm gonna attempt to do a tutorial on how to build and rig a head to blow up. So, um, and all you need is a styrofoam head and a couple of these. These are air bomb fireworks. Alright, so now, um, you're gonna need some of that. You're gonna need a styrofoam head, which I've already started to cut up and work on here. Uh, you are going to need red paint, paintbrush, um, tape, this kind, and duct tape, this kind here. And um, you'll need some flesh-colored paint, such as this. Alright, let's get to it then, shall we? Alright, I already went ahead and took the liberty of cutting up the styrofoam head into several different pieces. Here's another piece. And now these pieces, there's more of them down here. I, I'm filming with my computer so I can't aim down here, but I've got more pieces down here. And all of these pieces have been cut off of this main head. And uh, I'm going to put them all back together as soon as the paint dries. Well, I've, I've cut them all apart and then I'm going to... I've put tape over the edges to put get rid of the uh, some of the styrofoam flaking off, and um, yeah, then I painted that red because this is the part that's going to be seen when the thing blows up, right? When the head blows up, so I painted that, and now I'm just going to wait for the paint to dry, and then we can start working on putting the head back together. So um, let's watch this paint dry, shall we? Okay, you don't want to watch this, do you, Gary? Um, I'm just going to stop. I'll move ahead to the next step. Alright, now what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to take these pieces and I'm going to start putting the head back together. Now that the paint is dried. And what I'm going to use, I'm just going to use masking tape for that. And the reason I painted the head red is because sometimes when, when I'm taping these together and when the explosion goes off, the tape will peel off really quickly. It'll get blown off. And when that gets blown off, you don't want white styrofoam to be showing underneath, right? So, the solution is to paint it all red, and then for you to, well, just tape over it, like I said. So, I'm just going to work away at that right now. Just laying the tape over top of the seams. But, except... Don't tape on the inside, because that'll affect the explosion. And you may be wondering how the explosion is actually going to work. Well, I'll explain that when we get there. But make sure, let me just say, you make sure you get one of the styrofoam heads with the hole in them. But I really don't need to say that, because all of the styrofoam heads you buy come with a hole in them. Okay. the pieces of the head taped back together using only masking tape and um, only on the outside like I said before. And now what I'm going to do, I am going to continue with this and I'm going to cover all of the red. So I'm going to cover all of this so that, um, or just so I have another surface to paint on the skin tones and stuff um, that will get blown off with the rest of the tape. So I'll just get back to work on that then. You also want to try not to overlap over these gaps too much, because we want that to be um, fairly weak, so that the explosion will blow all the chunks everywhere. So don't go across again. Avoid that as much as possible. now. Now this next step is optional depending on whether or not you want a male zombie or a female zombie. If you want a female zombie you can go ahead and start adding different features to this like the eyes which I'm gonna start working on right after this next step but for this next step is only for if your zombie is a male. So let's get on with that then shall we.